Hello, this is Gary the Coconut bringing you another episode of Best of Bronze. This is a game between ex Nazgul, we'll call him Nazgul, and Andy McBagpipe. That was my Scottish accent. It was good. And a little. Alright. <clears throat> and they're throwing down that good luck, have fun. I'm going to speed a little bit through this beginning, get that production tab up. So, this is a fun game. And I'm not going to tell you who sent it to me because so far, every time I said who has sent me in the replay, that's the person who wins. And that doesn't make for very exciting watching, does it? So now let's see who's winning so far. Ooh, Nazgul is winning in the production because he was supply blocked for a little while. All right, I can go ahead and slow it down now. But he is using his chrono boost. You know what that means. That means we're not in Bronze League. Because we rarely see things like uh, oct what's higher than octagon? I don't know. That's like twenty sides. These uh, shapes we don't see these shapes in Bronze League. We don't see Chrono being used correctly. Still a little bit behind, but it's doing all right. Oh, yep. So that can only mean one thing. This isn't Bronze League. This is a gold match. One of the higher leagues than I normally cast or normally sent in to me. So that should make this a little bit more exciting than usual. Is doing an interesting wall off here. He does not want to have an Artosis Pylon. So he is throwing down that second pylon. If you do not know what an Artosis Pylon is, I will tell you. It's when somebody has a bunch of their buildings all powered by one pylon. So you kill that one pylon and all the buildings become unpowered named so adequately by I think it was Hydra calling it to Artosis I think I don't know don't know if that's true could be in control I don't remember who said it I think it was Hydra anyway is throwing down a cyber core and we all know what that means that means this is a foregate because from this timing the uh, yep the, the assimilator a boring old foregate can't even be creative and do something like, I don't know, hallucinated uh, hallucinated units, something cool like that. Not going to be today. Today we are going to Forgate. I wonder if you can hallucinate probes. I do not know. I do not play Protoss. I play Zerg. But that would be funny. You send in a scouting hallucinated probe. Wouldn't be very... Let's try to figure out what our Zerg player is doing. He is going Roach play. That probe did go down. So this looks like a one base roach push from our Zerg player, four gate from our Protoss player, and why is that exciting? What is, I mean, that sounds pretty standard to me. Now, let's see if our Zerg player has scouted. He scouted a little bit, and he is doing his one base roach push. Now, if he is, um, this is pretty hard to pull off against a four gate. The timings, I mean, if you're really good at it, you'll get there right when he only has a few units and the roaches can win if you keep rallying units. But it's pretty hard to deal with a one base, or deal with a four gate with a one base play. So you really should scout. It's really good against a fast expand. If the Protoss player fast expands, then ugh, they're going to have a really hard time holding off a roach push. But when they are going a four gate, it's going to be a pretty even match. So especially if he gets an evolution chamber, that's and ha having all these minerals built up. What he needs to be doing while these roaches are building, and those roaches are moving out, is it going to be spotted? Ooh, that overlord, he can save it. That's exactly what he needs to do, or else he would be in a world of hurt right then. And this sell it not even getting the watchtower. I bet that he was trying to get that position so that he could place a pile on there. And what is... Oh, I lied. So he could place a pile on here. So that Overlord is going to go down, and that's going to slow down Nazgul a lot. And uh, Andy McBagpipe, whose name I need to be saying a lot more because of how funny it is, he has pretty good pl building placement here, but I say it's not a bad idea for either going for pylons or going for probes, but probably not both. But at the same time, he's got a problem of his own. These uh, He has his base, and there's nothing here to defend it. Spinecrawler wouldn't be a bad idea at the moment, but these roaches are 
I mean, both bases are completely undefended, so if we have a base race situation on our hands, that could be interesting. I would say that in a base race, the Zerg is a little bit on the better side because he has those Broodlings, and that will do some damage if he, uh, and he has some Roaches there. So that's good, but our uh, Protoss player, he doesn't have any defense, so these bases can go down. And if uh, it's not micro properly, but this pylon over here, I don't know, Andy McMag Bagpipe might have a chance. And those drones need to get out of there. That's exactly what he needs to do. But, ooh, they're going to go down. Are they going to go down? Get him out of there. Get him out of there. Oh, look at that. He makes it out of there with 8 HP. That was... If those probes had been uh, attacking correctly, he would be out of drones. And he is almost out of minerals. So I do think this is a base race situation. The only one with enough minerals to build a unit is our Protoss player. And he is... Oh, and the Zergling. Oh. The Zergling could have been hacking away at that. There we go. See? Oh, now see the uh, Broodlings are faster than the Zealots. Do it weakening it up a little bit, but that is exactly what you need to do. So all you do in this situation, I'm going to teach you guys a little trick here. While these buildings are all going down, you hold shift, click attack the building, and then while holding shift, right click away from the building. And then your units will automatically kill the building and run away. And it won't be a problem. See, this isn't ideal. The units are getting damaged. But that's what you do. You attack, shift click, right click away, and then it'll go down and run away. And then you can even just do it automatically. Sh attack, shift right click, attack, shift right click, all while holding shift. It'll kill the whole base without you even having to look. Anyway, oh, but he did go ahead and get that extractor. That's exactly what he needs to do with his only drone, and he doesn't have anything left to do. So this is looking like the end of the game near here. These buildings are going down. And so it's just a matter on, and I believe that Nazgul is getting revealed. Yes, he is getting revealed. So Andy McBagpipe can see all these buildings. And unfortunately, Nazgul can't see it yet because of this nexus here. Nazgul's throwing up the GG. He thinks he's won the game, but he has not. He thinks that's all that he has. But Andy McBagpipe, don't forget, he snuck a pylon in the bushes. Oh, you sneaky guy. So now it's down to a pylon and an extractor. Who's going to win? Goodbye, little grubs. All right, so now both players are revealed. This is now just a race. Is there enough here? Let's see, one stalker, all those units. Is that enough to kill this army? I don't know. We're about to find out. It looks like they're going to go for it. The army should just ignore the army. Enemy the backpipe should just be going for this extractor, and hopefully he can kill it before the roaches kill all his units. And it is going down. It is going to go, I think. Oh, that Zealot did get stuck and did get, die. So, oh. So close. Oh. And that was that. And he is revealed, so he can see this pile on there. And he did just click on it as he saw those lines. Andy McBagpipe swearing through his pipes about losing that game. That was a really close game. It was a lot of fun to watch. Thanks to Nazgul for sending me in this replay. Very close and exciting game, and uh, yeah. So if you want me to watch your replay, and if I like, I will cast it. Send it to bestofbronze at gmail.com. Don't forget to send, tell me what league it is and which player you are in the game. And if I like it, I will cast it. So until next time, this is Gary the Coconut, and that's it. Did you miss it? Because I missed it the first time I saw it.